Okay. Hey, look at that. We got 8 May. Evil Raccoon. So, I think we're just gonna go with the plan B of giving up round 1. Round 1 is just insane. Every single time, people are just completely mental. Okay, maybe not this guy. But almost every single time, people are completely mental about round 1. I tried to fight for it, but it's really hard. That's the main idea. Pumpkin made this deck because he loves these old-fashioned cards. And this guy just uh, stole in his deck as a common uh, decker. Really? His love for damage spam. <laughs> okay, I am, okay. Will and Threat and Mert. I'll give you that one. But... The rest of it is just like soulless damage spam. Let's be real here. I don't have the cards to keep up with this. Nowadays you can steal a deck with one button thanks to the patch. Is that a bad thing? That copying becomes easier. Scorch. Cock and Villain Tretemberth are his favorites. Uh, what is Cock? Uh, I'm just gonna assume that it stands for something not Gwent related. But yeah. Who else plays these cards these days? Curse of Corruption. Hmm. They have 13 points behind. I'm just gonna pass. I don't like this. Are you he used to be champion of champions? What happened to that man? What happened to him? We need him back. He's the hero. Okay, we're probably gonna use Ra uh, Ragnarok here. I gotta play something. Wow! Woo! This is what I'm talking about. When I try to win round one, people are gonna be like, OVER MY DEAD FUCKING BODY YOU SCUMBAG! And I lose a card and possibly lose some hero charges. But if I just play three bronzes, then it gotta be like, oh, yeah, let's just go round three against the trap deck. What could go wrong? Yes. Okay, now this is more like it. We got good cards. Oh. I want to play some good cards. Let's go against the uh, trap deck to long grand free. What could go wrong? Famous last word. But what could I be playing? I'm just a Bruver. People don't even know what Bruver does. Does he have a rope reference? I don't think so. <gasps> Sursa? <Spotted. gasps> that should be a functioning event that if I can predict the card, the card my opponent is about to play correctly, 100%, then maybe he dis discards it to a graveyard. 
<laughs> that could be like a fun mode. People are not gonna have fun with that. Holy shit, that would be ridiculous. Imagine all the soulless netdeckers. What would they do? What would the people do? I don't get it. It would it would not work. They would just go crazy. They would say that the mode sucks. Come on. Hmm. I don't have a lot of moves. I think we might just play a watcher in the back. Yes. Watcher in the back. What is the card you're about your opponent about to play? Fuck. I was too late. I can't claim credit for that one. What's the next one? Maybe boost the guy? Well that could be like many cards. Or just kill him. Oh yeah, of course. Nani. Dead now. Okay, we're in a decent spot. Uh, I can play a Dried Matron in the back. Call group. Why can't I just do that? We play this. For some reason, they always do it. Holy shit. Every single time it works. Why? It shouldn't work every single time. Come on, guys. He's like, oh, trap! I'm gonna hit that for sure. I, I think they're doing it because it could be that dumb uh, flippy over poison trap. And they're like, holy shit, trap value, I'm getting it right now. But no, you're wrong about that. Tough call. Either we replay that trap, or we play a dried matron over nothing. Spotted! I hate that pitfall removes trap removal. It, it makes sense. If anything, the fire traps need to work that way as well. The damage triggers before the ability. That should work that way. Else it's just stupid. Do you guys agree? <laughs> I may like traps a little bit and I want them to be good. But now they're completely useless. Hand great sword? What the fuck? Um the Oh look at that. Very toasty last row. Very, very toasty. There's like a picture of some sword. Oh, look at that. Damage plus body, damage plus body plus lock, damage plus body. Damage without the body and immune body. That could be anything, right? What could that be? Definitely not a crushing trap. That could be like the the, the treant. Who, who knows? Maybe he's gonna be crapping his pants about that. I'm I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this uh, game. Let's be honest, Adam. Can you find many cards that are not damage plus body and are playable? But the problem is. 
Holy crap, that's a huge problem. But he might have the knight. I think we gotta trigger the Mahakamer horn. Because he has the knight, because he's boring. Do I wanna throw these in the back? Do that. Oh, crushing trap! Does he have the knight? Now comes the big reveal, guys! Who says that he has the knight? Oh, we have the Shadow Skags. No knight yet. So, Shadow Skags gets thrown into the fire. Takes 2 damage, plus 3. Actually, I fucked it up. <laughs> we lost two points. <gasps> we never found out about his last cards. I even fucked up the maths. That was just uh, <clears throat> uh, obviously calculated uh, maneuver, uh, just as a way to uh, say GG as a sh sign of respect. <clears throat> Good save, GG. Oh, look at that. We got a fancy guy over here, Arda. And he steals five pointers. That's a big deal. Because I got a lot of spy pointers. Lolly Fox. Hexa. What is that? Wizard. Witch. Makes sense. We're going with plan B here, which is play two smugglers and GTFO. Most likely these smugglers are gonna be uh, shut down. Actually, we might just go for a longer round. I don't have a way to boost them. I do have a way to boost them. It's an unusual way. By playing my horn. That could be acceptable. Do I care about the horn? About a little bit. I just get some boosts. Why not? Ooh. Okay, so he got out the roach. He stole my guy, and now he's in the lead by 20 points. Which is insane. So we pass. If he ran first, we would have completely got uh, out-tempoed. And now it's gonna be round two. Yeah, Roach is just an extra reason why I kind of like to go and fight people round two. Because they have less juice in round two, usually. Alright, we're gonna Ragnarok him here. Holy fuck, what? He, he definitely has some tactic cards. I think that much is obvious. Now we have a six pointer Pafko Gale. Hmm. 
我が刃に一点の曇りなし Now, the only leader I find a bit strong is this asshole. Mm. This guy's pretty strong. I'll give you that one. But this only works if he just loads his deck with、uh, tactics cards. Because this is like a 10 point swing, but that also steals your value generator. So if he steals a Pafko Gale. Right away, then he's gonna get a 10 point swing plus all the value generation,、uh, which is gonna be like 19 points, assuming he steals it early. Okay. <clears throat> Long round three. Keep in mind, anything that's、uh, a five or lower is gonna be st stolen. And we already played the Mahakam Horn. Oh my god, not that guy. I love the boar. But he's gonna be stolen. I guess I need to lock it. Actually, the boar might not get stolen if we boost it right away. We got a plan. We play in the back. I start using the Dried Matron. Soon. I can't just play the Anti Bear. That's, that's too stupid. Well, there's gonna be a lot of stuff dying. <laughs> oh. That guy's too strong, right? We need to lock it. Then <clears throat> we go Dried Matron, Enter Bear, we see the rest. Durchus <laughs> Durte? No. Very、uh, memorable name. <laughs> He stole the, the Watcher? That's good. He's not even gonna punish my Ente Bear. Oop. I really fucked up the spelling. What? Wait, what? Okay. Apparently, he likes stealing stuff. Quite a lot. Does he have a, another one? He has two spheres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the spheres. Highest base power. Okay. Do I want to stay in a, per in a particular row? Just gonna go, 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 go over there. I think we're just gonna play the, the Dragonier in the front. Might as well play it there.
What a nice random card you got there, mate. actually played it last, which makes my plays a little questionable. Could have just moved in something. Okay, I guess we're gonna try to kill the Watcher. I don't have a lot of points left. Frontro gets hit. I don't have to move Dried Matron in, but... It's kinda okay. Ah! Off good time. That gets killed. You can just move Pafko. Do we kill Pafko? So he doesn't have anything left? Do we just not give a fuck? And get boost. Kind of the same thing. Matter much. I just try to distribute my points a little bit. Oh, maybe he has a uh, infantry. Oh. <laughs> Never mind that. We lose anyway. Actually, if he had an infantry, we we tie out. So we would have lost against the infantry. So this was not the ideal play. GG, Lottie Fox. Well done.